Hi guys, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. This is a video on a sort of a new hobby that I'm hoping to get involved with, and that's the hobby of hydroponics. Now, right now I am a complete newbie, but uh, this video is about my um, uh, the system I've just built, and it's kind of a, a walk you through step by step. So if you ever have a fancy having a go yourself, then you are more than welcome to try. Now I have to say right from the start, a very huge thank you to my good friend Paul, better known as Fender Gibson Washburn. Here's a link to his channel, and uh, I shall put a link at the end of the video as well, so be sure to go out and uh, check check his channel out. And uh, I would just want to say thank you so much, Paul, because uh, Paul was very, very, um, well, he was instrumental in helping me come up with this particular design to, you know, specific for my needs. So um, I really appreciate the help, Paul. And uh, anyway, without further ado, here's the video. Enjoy. Now, my original theory was that because of um, the thickness of the tube, the weight of the water reaches its critical mass at this height. So my theory was if the tube is thinner, then hopefully the, it won't weigh as much and the pump should be able to push it even higher. So I'm gonna try changing the tube size now and uh, we'll see what happens. So we're still using the 11 watt pump but even though we've got a thinner tube, so the weight of the water is much less than in the thicker tube, the actual height is literally only about an inch different. Okay, here are the basics to our hydroponics system. First of all, we need a, oh, there it is, a small pond pump. This particular one is an 11 watt pond pump. It's a surplus requirement from my days of um, having a pond. So uh, that's that. We need some basic gutter fittings. You want the square line, square cut type guttering. This is a four meter length and uh, I should be chopping that up in a little while. You need um, some wood. This is just a bunch of scrap wood that I've got to make the frame. And you need a piece of downpipe guttering for, in order for the trays to feed down into uh, the the lower trays you need also the standard gutter fittings which are um, specifically for this type of gutter uh, it makes life a lot easier you also need some end caps like so and you need a water container that is light tight you're going to be containing lots of uh, nutrients in there and it's got to be light tight so that the uh, the light doesn't hit the water and cause an algae bloom. You also need um, suitable piping. So the plan is to build a freestanding hydroponic system that will go into my conservatory and will stand against this wall. Now it's the winter months at the moment, it's a pretty gloomy sky out there. And the idea is that because it's freestanding, I can move it outside in the summer months, but in the winter months, I can keep it in here inside the conservatory and hopefully still be able to grow things in it. That gives us three segments in which to make our hydroponic uh, thingies. That's a technical term, by the way. Okay, so here we have one of the finished gutters. It's basically got a, an end cap on one end and a down pipe on the other. Now, the whole point of this is to build a free, uh, freestanding stand that's gonna support this in a, uh, a horizontal position. And the same goes for the other racks that are gonna be above it. And uh, this will be the bottom rack. I'm gonna work from the bottom up and this, uh, any um, nutrients will flow from here down back into the, the main reservoir, which is this, uh, this tank here. Originally, I wanted the 
the thing to be up the entire length of the wall. Now the problem is, is uh, with the pump. Uh, the pump will only pump it so high and I want to get in as many tiers as I can uh, before the pump uh, you know, reaches its uh, maximum height. So I need to keep this fairly low. Okay, I've had a little think about this. Now I want to keep this as simple as possible. The simpler design, uh, the simpler the design, as far as I'm concerned, the better. So what I've decided to go is uh, go for is uh, a flat piece of wood at the back and a, uh, a squarish piece of wood at the front. It's simply based on what I had in stock. There's no point in going out and buying wood for this sort of thing. And all I'm going to do is I've just made these little brace struts, and I'm going to be attaching them like so in a, in a kind of very basic ladder format um, all the way up at both ends and then hopefully this should be able to just sit quite nicely on there like so. Obviously I've got to get the height right um, but if I get them wrong then I can just uh, adjust them, adjust the angle just simply by adding little slips of wood to um, the bit where this sits on. So I'm going to go away and do that now and uh, I shall come back to you when I've got a, a sort of structure looking thing. Okay, so here we are. Um, I've sort of made uh, the basic structure and all I've gone is for a very, very simple uh, ladder type system where I've got literally just two upright scrap pieces of wood and I've put little pieces uh, across to hold them together. Same the other side and just a couple of cross members to strengthen it and to keep it in place. Now, I did cheat a little bit. I just so happened to have um, a roll plug sat in the wall immediately behind this bar. So I was able to drill a hole through and put a screw in. So it's actually pretty rock uh, sturdy. All I need to do is take that screw out and then this whole unit will lift out and I can put it out in the garden in the summertime. And all that happens is, or well, the theory, is that you have your um, your hydroponic trays they'll sit in a zigzag configuration and I'll show you I'll put it together now and I've sort of made it all so it's all completely detachable um, so you can take it all apart for cleaning and things like that and ooh, let's just put that one on the top. Now I've made it taller than it needs to be um, in the optimistic hope that I might be able to get hold of a pump that is going to take it uh, higher so I can actually get another tier in here. But what we're doing is oh, put that there. Actually that needs to go about there. So the plan is quite simple. Let me just tip the camera down a minute and you can have a better look. Is that that's covered, isn't it? Okay, right. The plan is quite straightforward, okay? You fill this reservoir up with your nutrient solution, and then you use the pump to pump it up a tube into, uh, what I'll probably do is just drill a little hole here and place the, um, the, the pipe in there. And what it'll do is it'll run the nutrient, oh, excuse me, the nutrient will run along here drop down into this pipe. I've got some down tubes that I'm going to cut up in a minute and uh, that'll take it down to this pipe, then it'll run down there, then it'll drop down to here, then it'll run down here and then hopefully it'll drop back into the reservoir and it'll be going on a constant loop. Now what I haven't done yet is um, got the covers. The, the basic principles that I understand from hydroponics are that um, your nutrient solution is so rich in nutrients and minerals that you don't want any light to be hitting it because it'll just bloom into algae straight away. So what you need to do is actually cover up these trays. Now I've got my eye on some leaf guards because these are standard gutters. You can get leaf guards, which I'm actually gonna be popping out uh, later this afternoon to buy. And then on top of those leaf guards, because they're like a mesh arrangement, I'm going to be putting black polythene. One hole. There we go, I think, yeah, that's perfect. Look at that. Let's have a look at this closer. Okay, we're gonna plug it in. And uh, here we go. And the water goes up through the pipe into there. There it is, coming out nicely. The water is flowing and flowing. Down the drain. 
Okay, no longer splash. Oh, it's uh, still splashing a little bit, but it's, I suppose it's aerating the water, which is good. It's going down into this drain, down the downpipe, and along, and into the reservoir. So, the next stage is to think about um, putting the lid on this. Now, what I've been told is what I need to do is when the water goes down into the reservoir, it's supposed to drop a few inches so that it aerates the water. Obviously, um, this is, I'm a complete newbie at this, so I'm open to any and all suggestions um, on how to improve this. This is, like I said, this is a, a journey for me, a, a, an experimentation for me. So um, this is my first, very first attempt at doing hydroponics. So we'll have to see um, how it evolves. But if you've got any advice on how I can improve on this or little tips of, of experience that you want to pass on, do feel free to add it to the notes. Okay, I've just got back from the, uh, the shops and I've got the leaf covers. Now I have to admit I'm a little bit disappointed with them in so much that they don't fit particularly well. I thought um, they would come with some sort of clips that actually clip over the guttering, but as it happens, they just sort of sit in place. And well, I think they're actually designed to sit on the top, but they're just, they're not very good. They're all over the place. So what I've done is I've sort of pushed them down so they, they fit in there and then just pulled up until there's a little, very, very faint lip along the top here. And what I'm doing, I'm just pulling them up until they sort of meet against that lip. And that's about the best I can do with them. So anyway, I've got little holes cut in them and uh, I've got in this one um, area with the three troughs, I've actually got facilities now for 17 different plants. And uh, the next stage is obviously that the sunlight is still gonna get through this. So the next stage is to cover this with some sort of polythene. So I'm gonna go away now and uh, have another little play and see what I can come up with. Okay, so uh, what I came up with was um, literally just strips of polythene over the top of the, uh, what's the name? Now this is green polythene. I didn't have any black uh, thick stuff, uh, which would be any good. So um, that's sort of the best I could come up with. These areas that aren't used, I just stuff them with a little black bag. Just literally the whole point of that is just to keep the light out. Now, I am completely and utterly open to better suggestions uh, as to what I can cover this with. Um, I was thinking about um, sheets of polystyrene, cutting them into strips and uh, using those, but to be honest, it, it seemed a lot more sort of messy and, and a lot more hassle. So the, poly, the polythene, I mean, the, the, the idea is where the actual hole uh, in the thing is. When the time comes, what I want to do is just um, cut a little cross in there and then just drop in. What, what I'm hoping to be able to do is to do everything through rock wall and I just want to drop in the, um, the, the, the you know the seedlings straight in a, in a block of rock wall straight in to the solution and uh, that's that's what I'm planning unless I'm sort of advised otherwise um, or I could just have a go and sort of find out for myself whether or not it works and uh, go from there. So the next stage is to cut a hole out in the lid and I think I'm pretty much done for the day. Okay, so uh, what I've done is I've cut a nice square hole in the top of the box to correspond with a, a little bit of um, pipe in here. Now, uh, the water level's down here, so uh, that'll allow the water to fall inside and uh, hopefully aerate it a little bit on its way down which would be, uh, uh, I'm not sure if that would be enough or whether I've got an air, get an air stone or not, we'll have to wait and see. But um, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm, not, I'm debating whether to glue that in place or just to leave it there, because it's quite, it's, it's not going anywhere. And uh, all I need to do is just push it into place. And there we go, just make sure that's, um, that's where it needs to be. And there we go, I've got, uh, got the, the pump coming through there and the wire going in the back now and uh, it's all pretty much ready to go. So that's pretty much it for my um, this first video on this this hydroponic system. 
I hope it was useful to someone. I hope to make some more videos as I sort of work with it. Obviously right now I need to go and start some seedlings off and I'm planning on doing that simply in the um, uh, in the paper towels on the, on the uh, you know with the, the damp paper towels and then I hope to drop them into a block of rock wall and then drop the blocks of rock wall into here um, unless I read otherwise and, and um, find a better method. So anyway I hope it was useful to someone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.